Okay, guys, um, I'm going to try and talk quick because I wanted to keep the video short and there's lots of stuff to say. Um, Perth YouTube has an FY41 AP roll, uh, flight controller and that requires two three position switches uh, to toggle through all the different flight modes. So he was wondering how do you program two three position switches in uh, ER9X using the, the Turnergy 9X? Um, so he had a pot, he, as his second switch, he's just assigned a pot to a channel and he turns the pot and, and that changes the values. Um, although he, had, he wanted something that um, reduced how much he had to turn the pot. He just wanted to make a small adjustment on the pot to flick through the different values. Um, so we're going uh, to we'll make around with this. My camera's playing up so this isn't the first time I've recorded this. Um, Okay, so model one, uh, whoops, is, it? is the pot um, to do a small amount uh, of movement in the pot. I've just used a curve C9, um, and the curve's just a really straight line minus 100, 0, 100, and then just all the rest left to be 100. So you can't see that, but I'm actually only turning the pot a really small amount here, and that's changing the value like a big change for just a small amount of curve turn on the pot all right it's a bit messy though because you get these sort of half values and what's going to quite happen um, and also there's no sort of tactile feedback uh, you've got to, you're going to have to look at your OSD or something to actually see the modes change um, so there's still no tactile feedback with the second one but let's quickly look at the second mix I made okay the second mix uh, we don't have the curve anymore for channel 5. We've got the software switches. Okay, software switches we're using V offset. Okay, so V is P1. The offset is the value here. Um, you can change that obviously to whichever inputs and values you want. Um, and so V is less than the offset or V is greater than the offset. Are the two options, switch 1 and switch 2, are going to be active. So V is uh, P1 is less than 87, switch 1 is active. And if P1 is greater than minus 62, switch 2 is active, um, which gives us, when we put that back here, switch 1 and switch 2. Okay, so if P1, well, let's just quickly go into channel 5. Okay, so if P1 is less than 87, where we're going to get a minus 100 on channel 5. If P1 is greater than 87, because we've set this the source to half, it's going to get a zero. Okay, you've got half and you've got full. If full, um, then it's going to go from minus 100 with the switch being active to uh, plus 100 if the switch is inactive, whereas half goes from minus 100 to zero if it, the switch is inactive, um, and the switch SW1, all right, so the minus 87. Uh, then for SW2, which is above minus 62, we've set to full 100, um, and we, but the main thing is we've used replace, okay, because the switch is still going to be above 87, switch 1 is still going to be inactive, so here it's still always going to get set to 0, but then if it's also above minus 62, then we want to kick in and replace that 0 with a plus 100. Okay, so the end result of that is, as we turn the pot our small amount, the switch jumps. Well, I'm turning that pot really slowly and the switch just jumps from zero so you've got no half in between values okay but you're still using the pot you've still got no tactile feedback. Um, now uh, model 3 uses heaps of memory you can see it's 135 bytes compared to a blank model with just the four channels just straight going from the sticks to the, the channels uh, it's 39, so that's like almost 100 bytes just in the mixing. Um, and I'll, I'm not going to muck around too long showing you this, but this is the only one that actually has oops, three independent three position switches. Um, so you can see channel 5 and channel 6 are just they're, they're the same. Um, so I'll, I'll just show you channel 5. I got channel 5 mixes to itself, that remembers the current position of channel 5. And then if one of these three switches are active, it replaces the current value with minus 100, 0, or 100. All right, we've got the replace there. And there's also a delay. Okay, I'll just show you the delay quickly. Edit. So you've got full, you've got the minus 100, 0, or 100. We've got the switch being S1, 2, or 3. Replace there. And a delay of 1. You could make that 2 or 3. We'll get to that in a sec. Okay. Um, and then the actual switches. Uh, and, okay, and gives you two 
switch possibilities here and if both of these switch possibilities are true then this software switch will become on or active okay so we've got id0 id1 and id2 which is the three positions of our three position switch and again id0 1 and 2 and then we've got the a uh, negative ale all right or not ale so the aileron switch is off right negative ale means if the aileron switch is off then negative ale is true okay so if bo uh, both the two switches are, are fully up then switch one will become true okay and then the bottom three is ale so if the aileron switch is down then switch four five and six will become active as you change the three position switch between zero one and two okay so i hope that's clear um and so then we've got if the aileron switch is up the three position switch is replacing channel five with with the three different values from the three position switch and if the aileron switch is down then the three position switch is replacing the values on channel six with the three position switch okay it's not so great they've still got the delay the delay is only one you could make the delay two or three but you'll see now if i change that the aileron switch to up and then toggle the three position switch the channel five's changing channel six is remembering that it's on zero okay if i switch the channel the aileron switch to down now i'm changing channel six and you'll see that channel five's remembering that it's on zero but you'll notice when i flick the aileron down channel six flicked up to zero okay so that's sort of that's why i've put the delays in but it, it doesn't quite work that when you change the aileron switch it's it, it um the some the other channel still sometimes jumps you really sort of need to flick the aileron switch and change the three position switch to where the 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 new channel was set sort of thing so that it doesn't change it's a bit messy um so it is three separate two separate three position switches but um it's not quite what we're hoping for um it also takes up a lot of room so okay so let's forget that and we'll go back in now this is getting more specifically to the fy41 ap because the fy41 ap switch 2 overrides switch 1 okay um switch 2 does like your autopilot the return to home autopilot you you um loiter stuff like that circle um whereas switch 1 just says manual and stabilize in 3d like for, for you controlling the plane okay and if switch 2 is in the neutral position that's when switch 1 becomes active okay so there's really sort of five possibilities there's switch 1 high middle and low and the switch 2 high or switch 2 low but switch 2 in the middle sort of is the doorway into the switch 1 ones so let's go have a look at our mixes here um, we've cut out id0 same software switches except the uh, it's cut out id1 same software switches except there's just id0 and 2 id0 and 2 and we're using the half that we used with the pot okay so when um, the switch is in the middle when the three position switch is on id1 then the switch one being off is giving us our zero our zero value and then we're replacing the if switch id2 is active we're replacing the zero value with the one plus 100 okay the same as when we were doing the pot mix um and there's just switch one two three and four now they're not remembering what they were anymore but it doesn't really matter um so if we go back to the thing aileron switch up we're toggling switch one and because we don't have the delay anymore that's like a quick toggle aileron switch down we're toggling switch two okay um while we're using switch two it doesn't matter what channel five is and while we're using sw switch one channel six has to be in the middle which it is so there you go that 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 all just works as it is now you can save a tiny bit of sort of programming memory because you don't actually really need those software switches uh, if we go back to this last model five here um, i've done it all just using id zeros and twos okay but you'll see there that if you don't have the software switches there's no ale switch anymore so you're going to be toggling both switches all the time so if you change channel 5 to minus 100 channel 6 is going to go to minus 100 too which isn't going to work because channel 6 needs to be on zero if you're using channel 5. so we've put an extra mix down the bottom here that if the aileron switch is up right so not ale then set channel 6 to zero okay and that gives you your um channel six being in the middle 
So now you've got channel five, okay, which channel six has to be in the middle while you're using channel five. What channel five is when you're using channel six doesn't matter because channel six only defaults to channel five while it's in the middle. So if we flick the LR and switch down, we're using channel six, we're, we're changing them both, but it doesn't matter what five is. And if you put channel six in the middle, then channel five is in the middle anyway, so you're still going back to stabilized in the middle. Um, so you see what I mean here, yeah, that it's sort of looks a bit messier on the screen here, but is perfectly neat as far as the switches and the flight controller are concerned. Um, so that's about it. Uh, the only other one I thought if someone's a real sicko uh, and loves using the pot, you could go back into model two. Oops. Um, and if you wanted to, you could make a whole bunch more of these offset switches and you could change this all going like a big range all the way from minus right up through to the pluses and you could make six different positions that uh, the six different switches were active depending on how far you'd turned the pot and then you could have like the one sort of dial of the pot from one end to the other toggled through all of your five possible flight modes um, if you were a real sicko. Um, and while I'm here just on switches, uh, I just wanted to show you this one as well, safety switches. If you don't have this, put it on your radio, it's awesome. Um, channel 3 being your throttle, okay, well channel, my channel 3 activates my throttle. If your throttle's on a different channel, do it on a different one. Pick a switch, I use the throttle switch, just because it's throttle. Um, and if the throttle switch is off, channel 3 is minus 100, okay? Safety switches override everything else. They're the very last thing to be added into the mix before it gets transmitted out to the plane. So it doesn't matter what I've done with switches, it doesn't matter where I've bumped my throttle stick to, as long as my throttle switch is off, then my throttle value will always be minus 100, and that's a great safety thing. Um, so put that in all your mixes um, if, if you can. Um, anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks to everyone who has already subscribed. And if you've got any other tutorials you want me to do, uh, send me a message on YouTube. You can write it in the comments, but it's probably better to send me a message. Uh, let me know what you want the tutorial about, and I'll do some research and work it out for you. Um, okay, have a good day. Bye.